All right. The um, been working with uh, cursor a little bit today and refactored the code for chasing your tail. There's still some uh, improvements that I want to make in the terms of added functionality, but the code now should be quite a bit cleaner than it was before. Right? Not saying that there's not still room for improvement. There always is, but quite a bit. Uh, cleaner. So we have a wiggle running in the background, right? Got the Wi Fi card in there. And you see there the uh, CYT chasing your tail NG, right? The, uh, everything is in one folder now, like all the main files, not more of the confusing subfolders like before. There's a logs directory where the logs for this are automatically written to, and an ignore lists, right? Where the, um, where everything can get a, uh, Basically, if you create ignore, if we, let me start it up here, I'll explain a little bit about what we're doing here, a little bit if you're not too familiar with the project. And the GUI looks like it was made by Fisher Price, it's a little dime store GUI. <laughs> I get it. It's actually on purpose. It's not me being lazy, I promise. The um, cursor was trying to call me out on the GUI too. It's designed for on a very small screen on a Raspberry Pi, like with a touch screen and you're big meaty finger to just being able to run it if you're driving, right? Not sitting there trying to do drop down menus and navigate that. It's trying to be easy. And so what it is, is if you've ever done anything in this space, you need a concept of an ignore list, right? Which is basically you, if you're going to go to an area, tell if you're being followed or whatever, you don't want it to alert on you, your friends, your coworkers, whoever, you don't want it to alert on your devices, right? I'm being followed yet yeah, by yourself. And so basically you just kind of let it get the lay of the land, you, your coworkers, whatever's going on for a little bit as Kismet is eating all this up and seeing it. And then when you create a ignore list, you basically, Kismet going back, every time you start up Kismet, it is now starting a new .kismet, a log file in a directory. And this is always pulling for whatever the newest file is in that directory. And so it's going and saying, hey, anything in that newest database, anything since I've started Kismet, yeah, just uh, go ahead and ignore that, right? Any probe request, any Mac, anything like that. And I can do another video getting more into the functionality. I did a black hat talk on it if you want to see more about this and how it actually works, right? But we can create ignore list. We can delete ignore list. We can check status, which just makes sure that Kismet is running and that there's a Wi-Fi code in um, monitor mode that we can see. And then we just run chasing your tail and everything just kind of... Uh, we can see works from here. Uh, originally, my concept was kind of we go to location A, we go to location B, we go to location C, and we see what devices we saw at all three. That sounds good theoretically, but it kind of falls apart if you're driving, right? The whole thing of think back to the scenario, I had a, a buddy of mine who was meeting with a confidential informant with ties to a very real terrorist organization. And after the meeting, sometimes he was driving like, you know, an hour and a half, right? But, and so that doesn't really work there. And so it was basically, okay, do I see a device right now that I also saw 10 to 15 minutes ago, five to 10 minutes ago, et cetera. That's the uh, methodology we ended up going with. Once again, I explained this much more in depth in my black hat talk. So on the code, it's um, the biggest improvements. There's a config.json file right in here, which has all the different uh, configuration options. Not that there's a ton, but no more hard coded directories now. So wherever you want the Kismet logs to be stored from Kismet, you enter that in your configuration like I talked about in the video I made earlier today, and then you just put that directory in the config.json and it'll do it. The reason I don't have it opened up right now is it also has my uh, Wiggle uh, API key, right, which is optional. You don't need it. And the reason why it has that is some new functionality, fresh, hot off the press, this probe analyzer. This is designed to, there's a few things that I want to add in here that I intend to add in. This is one of the first ones too. After you, you know, drive around, after you do whatever it is you're doing, and it's collected all of these probes and things that it's kind of hit on and alerted on of, hey, potentially you could be following. Well, shoot, if it's by MAC addresses that it's detecting on, okay. But if it's detecting on probes, which could very well happen if what's following you is a device that's doing the MAC randomization, if it's these probe requests from wireless that it's hitting off of, well, shoot, in that case, is the name of the network it's probing for unique can we use wiggle to see like where that potentially is <laughs> right start trying to turn it around and you can you would be amazed how many um <laughs> 
how many organizations out there, and I'll leave it at that, have like Wi-Fi there that gives away the name of the organization or with Wiggle, you can just pull it up potentially and um, look at where it's at on a map. So starting to add this functionality in there to analyze the logs, and there's more that I wanna do, but the code that I have right now, I do have up, I moved it, I'm gonna close down the, um, or kind of end, the old Chasing Your Tail repository that was under my own personal branch. I put this under my company, Argelius Labs. No reason, it's still the same MIT license and everything, just trying to organize things under a one umbrella better. But the Chasing Your Tail NG, I will put the link in this video. Like I said, there's definitely some uh, more to come, but uh, hopefully you check this out, hopefully you enjoy it. And if you've had any trouble trying to get it to work, hopefully this makes it quite a bit easier. So thank you very much. Appreciate the, uh, the feedback, the comments, positive, et cetera.